So in today's lesson, we're going to learn about transformations. Transformations are basically changes that we can make to shapes um, and alter them from how they originally were. So there's a few different types of transformations that we're going to learn about. We're going to learn about translations, which are basically moving uh, a shape from one position to another. Rotation, so tilting it. Uh, reflection, uh, mirroring it. And dilation, which is making it bigger. Or we can also reduce it and make it smaller. Before we begin, I just want to explain some of the symbols that we were using. So you might see an A apostrophe or A dash, and that basically has a mathematical symbol, A prime. Uh, what that basically means is that your shape has been trans transformed in some way. So if you look at the, the picture on the left here, this is our original shape. It's marked with A, B, C, and D. And our translated shape um, has A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. And all the letters are in the same spot for the transformed shape. So as we said before, a translation occurs when you move an object from one place to another place. So we've got a few examples here. You can see that the original shape has moved over by six units to the right. So each vertex or each, co each point, corner of the shape has moved six units right. So it's the exact same shape, just moved over. In this situation, we've moved it twice. First, we've moved it seven units to the left, and then three units down. Or you could say it the other way around, that you moved three down first, and then seven to the left. Now we're on to our next type of transformation, and that is a rotation. So if we turn it about a fixed point, um, we're basically rotating it. You can turn it clockwise or you can turn it anti-clockwise. So there's a lot of different applications that we can have for for our rotations and we have this example of um, wallpaper or a, some sort of print here but it's basically a turn of the original image we turn it around in this case here we have moved the we've rotated the the original image uh, object 90 degrees counterclockwise Our next type of transformation is a reflection. Okay, so you think about it, you can think about a reflection as mirroring an object. So you can see that our original object here, if we have this line of reflection in the middle, uh, we have a mirror image of that object on the other side. It's important to realize here that the image is the same size as the original object. Just uh, in just the other way around. So again, this line in the middle between the object and the image, we call that the line of reflection. If you fold the object along the line of reflection, then the two, the object and the image should overlap perfectly. So for this example here, we have our line of reflection. If we want to try and work out where the line of reflection is, along the middle line here because each 
of the vertices are exactly the same distance for each of the two shapes, the object and the image, each of the vertices are the same distance from this line. A dilation is basically uh, when you enlarge the original object to create a much bigger image. So for this example here, um, we can see that the, the original object, which is the red or the pink triangle, um, it's the exact same shape as the new image, which is the blue triangle. It's just that the, that the image has been um, made much larger. So we call this a dilation. So if we want to know the scale factor for this enlargement, we pick a point in the middle of the shape and I'm just going to put a point at the origin and you can compare the distance to each of the vertices for the image in comparison to the original object so to get to C I have to go up 2 to get to C prime I've got to go up 4 so it's twice as far away to get to B I've got to go across 1 diagonally to B prime it's 2 diagonally to A 2 diagonally to A prime four diagonally. So every point is twice as far away, which means a scale factor of two. So thank you for listening to this e-lesson. I'd like you to please try the worksheets that I've given you in class today, uh, and you need to bring this into class tomorrow. It's uh, due tomorrow in class. Thank you very much.